close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest It means something today. It means something every day, but the only way I'm going to get through this day is with God and a good strong cup of coffee. Today's plan is so overambitious. I know everything in my mind is not going to come to fruition, but I have to tackle this harvest today. I have a sink full of carrots that need to be processed. Um, a whole bag of carrots still in the fridge, which I may keep in there and just use as I need them. They keep pretty well in the fridge like that. I have a bag full of potatoes, bushels of uh, cucumbers, tons of zucchini, tons of squash. The plan though, guys, is to bring you guys some really good recipes, especially with the zucchini that you can go ahead, pre-cook, make, and throw in the freezer for quick and easy dinners rather than just preserving your zucchini plain. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna put out this video right now. It may come out in series, but the very first thing this morning is to get a whole bunch of zucchini grated up so it's ready for recipes throughout the day. So that's what we're doing this morning. But I'm going to take a second and enjoy this cup of coffee. Okay, so I have my five largest um, zucchini. This is probably the biggest. And these are getting grated up. The others, I'm going to bring you guys some really fun recipes um, like for dinner ideas. But these are for preserving. Like I said, I don't know how I'm going to share this. It would be a lot to put in one video. So just bear with me as I figure this out while we go. Um, I don't do anything special when I grade my zucchini. I don't peel it. Um, now one, I take that back. One I'm going to peel because it's going in something that you don't want like the green color in. So I'll see you back as soon as I'm done and um, I'll at least make the first recipe on today's video. Okay, so I just got done um, grating it and I sprinkled it with a little salt just to draw the extra moisture and give it a good stir. And then we're going to drain it for about 30 minutes. And then I will come back and get going on the first recipe. Um, so what have I done so far too? I did, didn't mention that at the beginning of the video. I have made 12, um, half pints of zucchini relish. I have frozen 12 cups, so individually bagged, uh, six bags, two cups each of shredded zucchini for future recipes. And what else? We've eaten a lot of zucchini for dinner. Um, feels like there was one other recipe I made. Guess I can't think of it right now. Today's recipe is going to be turkey zucchini meatballs. We're going to mix those up and get them baked and then individually bagged in like gallon sized freezer bags and put away for future meals. So that's going to be super fun. Today, I also have one of those veggie spiralizer um, doohickeys showing up. Purchased it on Amazon, so I'll leave a link down in the description below. And I'm picturing a future meal with some zoodles and those turkey zucchini meatballs with some marinara sauce, maybe even from my garden. So I'm super excited about that. So come back in just a minute and we'll get going on making that recipe. While I'm waiting for the zucchini to drain, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish uh, washing up and processing this little batch of carrots. And I think 
since I still have quite a bit canned from last year, uh, what I've been doing is I've just been washing, uh, trimming the roots and the tops and freezing them. So that's what I'm going to do with these two. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I thought I hit record and it wasn't recording. But what I've got is nine pounds of ground turkey, six and three quarter pounds uh, or six and three quarter cups of shredded drained zucchini, a couple heaping spoons of garlic, tons of Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and some mozzarella. So I'm going to mix all this up and then we're going to make meatballs and cook them and bag them up. Okay, I think that's good enough. So let's get them um, balled up and then we'll bake them. The oven is preheating right now to 350 degrees. Okay, before we throw them in the oven, we're just going to hit it with a little olive oil and um, give them a roll and then we will um, bake them for 15 minutes and then turn them over for 10 more minutes. Okay guys, a little change of plans, same meatball mixture. I haven't got the patience and that's like six meals worth for us to make meatballs. So another recipe I had researched was a zucchini meatloaf and it called for ground beef, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this, add some of my onions, throw in some oatmeal, some eggs, mix it up and we'll have probably, this is about seven, what did I figure? Seven pounds left. And I should get five-ish meatloaves out of it. So that's what we're gonna do with the rest of this. Okay, the timer just went off. So let's get in the oven and turn these while we have a chance. I'm still working on mixing up that meatloaf. Oops, uh-oh. We're having a spill problem. Yikes. Oh, oh, no. Darn. You guys didn't see that. Okay, my disaster is somewhat cleaned up. I have switched, don't make the same mistake as me. Use baking pans. I've switched to my baking pans. The oven is a little cleaned up. I'll have to handle that later. And back in the oven, 350 for 10 minutes. Okay, we have the onions. And I'm gonna throw in six cups of oatmeal. Uh, maybe seven. One. Well, we'll see how six goes. I'm going to throw in six eggs. The sun could go out. We're going to be okay. Before the blue skies make too gray. We're going to be okay. Okay, and that should be it. And the plan is, is I'm going to bake them plain. And then when I take them out of the freezer for meals and reheat them, that's when I'll put the glaze and the topping on. Okay, well, the kitchen timer just went off. The meatballs should be done. I'm going to go ahead and move them over here because I need my pans for the meat loaves and uh, let them cool and then we'll bag them up and they'll be ready for quick, easy freezer meals 
um, during this fall and winter. I guess for um, those that would want to make like a similar size recipe, I probably used two, two and a half pounds. And it made, I figured for us, 15 meatballs for a meal, um, leftovers or just in case the kid's home and wants to eat. And that gave me six meals out of this batch. Okay, I got six little meat loaves made up. I'm going to put these in the oven at 350 for 40 minutes. And I still have probably enough to make about two more larger size meat loaves. Okay, guys, all of the turkey meat loaves should be done. So we're just gonna take these out. Smell amazing, they look great. I went ahead and made the other two um, and threw them in after I said I was going to make them later. Nice. So I ended up with eight probably three quarter pound meatloafs. And I'm going to let these cool, wrap them in foil a couple times and throw them in the freezer. So I just want to say if you have like crazy zucchini like I do coming in and you're kind of bored with just the standard zucchini recipes, guys, there is so much that you could do with that that would make quick and easy meals and ready. So think outside the box and we'll see you guys on the next video where I'll be sharing another zucchini recipe that you can make for quick, easy, um, go-to dinner ideas. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.